Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. I am the Senior Partner Development Manager over here at the AWS Global Startup Program. The Global Startup Program is an invite-only go-to-market program supporting our early to mid-stage startups in three key areas, product development, go-to-market, and co-sell. And today we've got John from Sugar here with us. Thanks for being here with us. Thanks so much for having me, Crystal. Always a pleasure to be at the AWS office and to see you in person. You as well, you as well. Uh, so John, Sugar is a very exciting startup making waves in the cloud marketplace automation world. Can you tell us a little bit about, about Sugar and the problem that Sugar is solving? Yeah, so Sugar is the data and workflow layer that sits on top of B2B marketplaces. And we provide all the integrations and business tools for ISVs to partner with AWS at scale. You know, the first stage was really all the table stake functionalities, like getting your products listed, uh, managing offers, entitlements, as well as coastal referrals. But we're really in the second stage now, which is around true automation to remove the friction of selling in a relatively new channel for these ISVs. And I'm so excited for part three, where you know, we'll build out an intelligence layer based on all the first party data provided to us by the ISVs to prescribe the next best action for any alliance or sales professionals to take. That's exciting. I'm excited too. Now, this space is quite competitive. How is Sugar standing out from a competition in ways that are resonating with your customers? Totally. So, you know, we, we see that it is crowded, um, but, you know, the way that we're differentiating thematically is that we're solving this problem with APIs, which allows us to do so much more beyond the table stake functionalities. Um, we really view the space as discrete jobs to be done by different departments. You know, you have the salesperson and the alliance person who is co-selling with AWS, you know, sharing opportunities and data back and forth. You have the deal desk and rev ops teams that actually has to go, you know, close out the deals. And then of course, you know, the finance team that actually has to recognize the revenue. Not to mention there's customer success teams that needs to drive up sell renewals through marketplace. Mm -hmm. You get where I'm going with this. Of, there's a lot to be done by different teams. And so we've built a workflow tool called the Sugar AI Flow that listens for various events um, and can trigger actions across multiple systems, whether it's a customized notification to email or Slack upon offer acceptance, or you know, sharing a partner originated opportunity based on certain triggers like a change in Salesforce field, or even handling metered usage data so that our customers can correctly bill um, you know, overage charges. The possible use cases here are, are, are really endless. Um, it's really resonated with a lot of our customers of markets because they all want customization that fits their existing systems and workflows. We've been keeping this part under wraps, but I'm really excited for this product launch that'll be coming at the end of this month. Oh, super exciting stuff. Okay. Can you share some examples of the types of customers that are leveraging Sugar's technology today? Yeah, it really varies. You know, we have a lot of early stage startups, you know, Seed Series A, that want to use our tool to get listed with 30 minutes of work and get listed in under two weeks. Um, and then we have a lot of customers of markets like Fivetran, Vanta that are transacting at scale, and they really use all the nuts and bolts of our tool uh, to drive automation in their cloud marketplace operations, like automated overage billing or you know, sharing data with AWS sales teams around how much they're actually sharing with AWS and you know, driving joint success. Now, let's rewind to the very beginning. Why did you initially decide to partner with AWS Global Start Program, and how has the Global Start Program supported Sugar's rapid growth and scalability? Yeah, I mean, it's really the nature of our business, right? You, you have, you know, ISVs who are our customers who we need to listen to to build the product. But the, what the product does is it helps them engage with AWS better. And so working with Global Startup Program really helped us navigate the AWS ecosystem and, you know, immediately start to drive kind of product discovery and um, product development with them, right? Because we were thinking, what does success look like in the eyes of AWS field teams? What type of data do they want surfaced up by the ISVs? What's the cadence at which they want the ISVs to reach out to them to co-sell? You know, what type of email templates? All of this has been productized. Um, I, you know, it's kind of crazy that I've already known you for over a year now, and um, you've provided tremendous value to to us and for us to partner with AWS, and so. I mean, some of the programs have been, you know, being part of SPOP, for example, to really lower the barrier to entry, um, to, you know, getting introductions to various AWS sales teams so that we could evangelize what, a uh, what Sugar does for the AWS marketplace ecosystem. And so it's been just phenomenal partnering with the Global Startup Program so far. Oh, so glad to hear. And I'm glad that I was able to be part of, you know, uh, Sugar's growth and success so far. 
Uh, now, based on your experience, what what advice would you give to other startup founders considering partnering with with GSP? Yeah, I really approach them or encourage them to think about it as a crawl, walk, run approach. You know, I, I talked to a lot of early stage startups. You know, we came out of Y Combinator, so a lot of them reach out and. They usually come to me saying, "Hey, can I A/B test on this channel? Um, can I? What's the level of inbound leads that I that I can expect?" And what I always explain is, go find product market fits, get some of those success stories, and then you know partner with AWS to scale. And it always starts with the product. You know, joint go to market works better when you can market the product joint use cases, right? Like, how does your product work with AWS services? There are so many AI companies that are using AWS Bedrock, for example and taking part of Jumpstart. Um, for larger scale companies that are new to marketplace, some advice that I provide is one, like really get leadership buy-in. Whenever we see a marketplace motion stall out, it's usually always due to lack of alignment up top. You know, so some of the best players will invest early, like, you know, going comm neutral. So they will comp their sales teams, whether it is, you know, direct or through marketplace. They might even spiff marketplace transactions to really drive internal adoption. The other piece I'd say is be patient. You know, you can't just expect, you know, AWS to send you opportunities or for your internal sales teams to understand how this channel works. Um, for example, it took us roughly four to six months with mm -hmm. the right messaging to really evangelize our product with the AWS field teams. And then finally, I'd say, don't over architect the operations. You know, get a few quick wins first. Uh, and then start to think about automation as you reach a certain level of volume. That makes sense. Thank you for the advice there. Looking ahead, what are your future plans for collaboration with AWS to make Sugar's customers even happier? And how do you envision our partnership evolving? Totally. So, you know, I think we can partner on the go-to-market side first as we're starting to scale our co-sell motion, you know, really leaning into all the AWS events like reInvent, Reinforce, the Marketplace Conference. And um, you know, really working closely together to evangelize our product to more AWS sales teams and therefore the end customers, but also you know leveraging a lot of the resources that you guys provide to startups, such, such as you know marketing development funds to really drive some of these co-sell motions at scale and co-market with you guys is something that I'm really excited about. Some of the pieces around the product, we're evolving, you know, but AWS is also evolving. I mean, the, your marketplace product team is shipping functionalities at a dizzying pace. And so not only do we need to keep up, but we need to keep innovating and pushing the envelope of what is possible so that you know, our solution does not get commoditized. Some of the ways that we're thinking about it is, you know, we're looking into ways to enable the buyer side of marketplace as well. It's actually a huge friction point for our sellers to enable buyers on using the cloud commits or even finding the right person to accept the private offers. And like all marketplaces, you know, the supply and demand side really need to be at an equilibrium. And so we really want to enable the buyer side. And to build out this part of our solution, you know, we're really excited to partner with people like, you know, partner solution architects to figure out what is the right technical architecture for us that will drive value to our end customers. Absolutely. John, it's been great to see Sugar's innovation and, and progress in this space. And I'm really excited for what's ahead and continue to be part of that, that uh, growth and success. Thanks again for being here with us today. Uh, for those of you that are watching, please check out sugar.io and that's sugar with an E for their upcoming exciting Sugar AI launch. Amazing. Thanks so much. Thank you.